guys, it's Cherry Hannah. <laughs> okay, uh, but all seriousness, I am literally filming this the day of it's gonna be released. So yeah, <laughs> I've I've been having trouble. I mean, not trouble. I meant um less time lately, and now I have time, and I accidentally hit my desk. So we should just get started. Um, also, I, the reason I'm not wearing my mask is because I didn't want to ruin my makeup. Also, I'm gonna need to read, so okay. Today we'll be reading chapters 9 and 10. Chapter 9, something happened. It was in the middle of my internship with Miss Joke. We just got to Hosu. Miss Joke says uh, there is a lot of criminal activity there, and it will be a perfect per, be, will be perfect to practice from for me there. Perfect practice for me there, sorry. It it was pretty nerve. I was pretty nervous because I had contacts in, and plus I don't really have a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat training. While we walking, we saw the city getting attacked by some kind of creatures called Nomus. While running to save civilians, we find other heroes trying to stop the fire. Then I hear a pro hero call called Manuel calling for Ida. I just remember that Hosu is where Ida's brother was attacked by the hero killer. Junban. Can you go look for that student? I said Miss Joke. I will, I said. I started running looking for Ida. Then out of nowhere, I get a message from Midoriya. It was an, a, an address. I noticed it was nearby, so I started running to it. When I got there, I saw Ida on the ground with another pro hero called Native. When I saw the hero killer, then, and then I saw the hero killer stain. He was fighting Midoriya and Todoroki. I got a clear look at him. I got an idea. Hey, I yelled. Stain looked at me. Who are you? Said, asked Stain. I wonder what you would look like as a girl, I said. He had a very confused face. I threw a smoke bomb and the smoke covers me and I turned into a female version of him. Midoriya and, to and Todoroki knew I was distracting him and, and started attacking him. I turned some form back while they were all distracted. They managed to stop him and tie him up. I run to them to see if anyone is hurt. Luckily, Native wasn't that hurt and was able to carry Midoriya. He got badly injured. An old hero called Gran Torino, that Midoriya is going for his internship, came running to us. I told you to stay on the train, said Gran Torino while kicking him in the head. Then the other heroes, including Miss Joke. Then the other hero came, including Miss Joke. Junban, said Miss Joke. I run to her. Are you alright? asked Miss Joke. Yes, I am. Then Miss Joke looked behind me and had a surprised face, just like the other heroes. Is that the hero killer? asked Miss Joke. Then Todoroki's dad and Dara came running. Then out of nowhere, a, a Nomu came, comes out of nowhere and grabs Midoriya. I know that Nomu is injured because the Nomu is bleeding. Then somehow Stain woke up, cut his restraints and licked the the blood, Nomu's, like the blood, Nomu, the Nomu's blood that had fallen on a hero. And then the Nomu got paralyzed and he killed the Nomu and saved Midoriya. He saw Endeavor and started talking about how the hero society is bad. Then he tried to move, then he didn't. He got badly injured and made him pass out. The next day, this joke and I decided to see Ida, and Midoriya, and Toroki at the hospital. We stopped by a, break, ba a bakery to bring them something. I was about to go to the room when Miss Joke got the call. I had to take this. You can go ahead without me, said Miss Joke. I saw and went ahead. I got to the room and knocked on the door. Come in, said Midoriya. I came in with the treats. Cherry, said, said Ida. Hey guys, I'm just here to check on you guys and bring and bring you bring some treats, I said. Thanks, said Midoriya. I put the treats down on the table. Then we hear a knock. Miss Joke, Manuel, and Gran Torino came in. But then someone else came in as well. It was the cheaper for Lee's Kenji... I can't say his last name correctly. Uncle Wolfie, I said. He looked at me. Cherry, said Uncle Wolfie. Wait, Cherry, the chief of police is your uncle? asked Ida. Well, not biologically, I answered. Cherry's father was a, a officer. He was a great man, said Uncle Wolfie. Then, Uncle Wolfie started talking about how we... we what we did was reckless, but <clears throat> sorry, we still, but he still thank us for stopping Stain and Todoroki's dad will be taking the credit because if it got out that we stopped him, we might not get our chance, get a chance, the chance to become heroes. Then Uncle Wolfie said goodbye and left. 
Manuel and Grant Reno were grilling Ida and Doria. After a while, I left with Miss Jog and continued my internship. Okay, next chapter. Next chapter is chapter 10. Lesson after internships. It's time for a hero class. Everyone kept looking at me and Hintoshi. Mostly because we were standing next to each other and the and other a lot. And he even said with me and Choco, with Dory and Ida at lunch. I'm guessing they're figuring figured out that we are fading. But anyways, we had to do races to save All Might. So basically, we had to race each other to reach All Might first. I didn't win speed is in my strong suit. After class, we went to the males and females changing room. We were all changing out of our hero costume costumes. Then I see Kyoka Jiro looking at something. Then she used her earphone jack at the mo that moment. We found out that there is a hole on the wall and Minata was trying to use it. Thanks Kyoka, said Toru Haku Hakukori. Despicable. We will close up this hall immediately, said Momo Yarauzu. Well, I'd like to change the topic real quick, said me said Mina Ashido. Oh, to what? Mina asked Archako. To Cherry, said Mina. What, me? I said. Yeah, are you and Shinzo dating? asked Mina. Um, yeah, I said. Wait, really? said Suyu. Yep, I said. Wow, I can't believe you have a boyfriend, said Turu. Taru, tu, Turu? Well, we haven't become boyfriend and girlfriend yet, I said while my face started to heat up. Then we saw the time, time and quickly finished changing. Then Hitoshi and I left the school. I could have started thinking about how me and Hitoshi are not boyfriend and girlfriend yet. And that is all the reading for today. And I just realized this is on and I don't need that on. Okay, um... I'm so sorry that I have been filming late, but this is the best I can do. So I hope I hope you enjoyed this video, and I was about to say some words that you already gonna see in three, two, one.